Right guys, this is my launch box. 30 hours later, importing covers, exporting covers, making up my own categories, because launch box haven't got some categories. They haven't got like first person action, first person shooter, light gun categories. So you gotta make them yourself. And literally, it's taken me so long. That's why I haven't answered to my emails as quick as I normally do. Um, I've got 3,045 total games spread across 20 terabytes of space on my computer. Now I just thought I'd just show you a few of what I've got. These are my, some of my arcade standalones. Obviously I've got more backed up that I don't put on my computer. Atari Jaguar and it's also replacing all the individual covers if it can't find a cover or you've got modded games that haven't got a cover and downloading them going into paint manipulating them renaming them and it's just oh god it's just driven me nuts at us I've still got a few covers to do it's like you haven't got this category first person action and you haven't got like first person multiplayer separate category so I've still got that one to do you haven't got a normal first person shooter but it's weird because if you make first person shooter it does appear on some games on its own without you having to go in you've got to go into each file and put in the category separate and change it then save it and it does take a long long time these are all my light gun games from different systems all compiled into my light gun category some of you notice I've got a couple different versions ones like Dreamcast, ones like Arcade I've got a few like that so then I can choose which one I prefer playing and most of the time the arcade ones are better than the console ones it's like I've got arcade one there and then I've got the PlayStation 2 version I haven't got many Xbox games, I don't play a lot of them really this is a fantastic game, Panzer Dragon Ultra that's the only ones I haven't really got these are actual GOG games because you don't have to put in the emulator because I can't be bothered with putting in the emulator and compiling it and putting in the commands to run from C and all that crap these are modded ones so I've got to put in the covers for them and all together it's actually because there's no ROMs actually stored within the launch box all my ROMs are separate and spread out through my hard drives and just with the covers and the things it downloads it's 30 gig so at the moment I'm just compressing it all and then I'm going to back it up see they, they, you know the Win Nintendo Wii was a good system but there wasn't that many games to be honest you know it, not not ones I'd play but a lot of them on, on me light gun packages Wii U even had less games that I liked um, there's a couple I haven't got on here which is um oh I can't remember what the emulator is called now it plays a really old 8-bit console but you know it's worse graphics in the um actually the actual NES itself I have to have a look at that one because it might not be the right game so there's still a few I've got to do you know and it's nice to have launch box where you got everything in one place so you know you can just go in right I'll play that one I'll play that one or whatever and it's not like looking at 
oh, just like a little icon, and you're thinking, hmm, do I fancy that? When you look at the p picture, then you think, yeah, I'm going to play that, or you don't have to mess around with anything. <coughs> See, I haven't actually, well, have I got two initial Ds? So you go to edit and find out where it's launching from. That's Sega Naomi. Because that might be wrong. So I've got one, two, and three actually. Hang on to check that edit. Launching. Let me check the other one out. Edit. Launching. Oh, it's the same. So I'm missing the third one somehow. It's gone. Oh no, it's initial D3 there. So I got one, two, two, and a third. I got my ones that I modded, so the Triforce ones. PlayStation, only my favourites, like Jumping Jack Flash, that's a really good game. Hydro Thunder. But a lot of the games that on the emulator are actually in my like and games collection. So I just change the categories. Super Nintendo, where well, I got yeah thousands of them, and I've got this is like my third person action games. Oh, I think this one's third party action adventure. Oh yeah, it says that. Uh, at the top third person action adventure see you haven't got these categories built into launch box you've got to make them yourself third person multiplayer and that's in the wrong one it's actually first person so you go to edit I must be Ah, that's why I got it wrong here. Platform. So I go to when I made up first person multiplayer. Third person shooter. I have got a separate category for third person adventure. Um, which you know, some of them I didn't know what they come under. So I thought, do I do that or not? It's like that game, Wanted, Weapons of Fate. Absolutely awesome game. Really good action first-person shooter. Then I got my normal Windows games. Obviously, I've, I've taken a lot out and split them into categories. First-person, third-person, and so on. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's probably taken me 30 hours. It's now, I think, I started it like four hours ago. I'm just compressing it at the moment, and now it's like, yeah, quarter past one in the morning. So you have to import certain covers that you can't get hold of and change them yourself. <coughs> it's like that one, it didn't have a proper cover. So I had to download and import that one myself. And then import it into the game files. So I hope you like me little launch box. It is worth doing. But every time I normally do it, I don't back it up. And then if your computer goes tits up, you lose it all. So I backed up everything this time. Like Frontlines. I don't know if many of you heard of Frontlines. Fuel of War. One of the best first person shooters out there. It's absolutely awesome. You got little car gadgets you got flying bombs you got and you can still get a few games on multiplayer um it's a bit like um the other one i really like first person multiplayer home front i got um i got it um a special edition and it's still sealed actually in its tin 
because it come in a, a tin box. Which I, I've got a few few games I've kept. I've got quite a few of the Call of Duty. I've got the very first Call of Duty. I've got World at War. Um, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 still in their boxes. I kept a few of them, but such an excellent game. The graphics are looking old now, but it's still a really good multiplayer. You've got care packages, you've got airstrikes and stuff like that online. The only thing it really suffers from, you haven't got bullet penetration, but it is the single player is really, really good as well. And it's, it's like about 10 hours long, not like the crappy Call of Duty games now where you get maybe five at most, but normally lower than that. So I hope you enjoyed my launch box de like demo. It's worth doing guys, so you've got it all in one place. The only thing I've got to do now is figure out some launches, so when you start the games, it will automatically start Steam when you start them instead of putting in your password and all that crap. So, cheers guys.